Matt, here's a quick video of your Tucson. I know I sent you the photos. Just wanted to show you it real quick. I actually just started it, which is why you saw the blinkers. But, <laughs> blinker, but because it is a hybrid, it starts in electric. If you want to run the AC or something, you have basically the, the key fob or there's Blue Link. So this 2024 has Blue Link Plus, which is on your phone app, you're able to control the vehicle with a lock, with a start, you can control what temperature you want it to be at, you can open it, you can locate it, you can do service appointments, diagnostics. If there's a light that goes out, it'll let you know on the app. If somebody tries to open it, it'll give you a panic alert. <laughs> I can keep on talking about it. Um, but this is this is the Tucson 2024. So the 2024 will have the Blue Link Plus. Um, sensor in the back, sensor outside to lock like you're gonna open it or not and you're gonna notice the screen is not on because let's say right now you start it from the service department you're barely walking to it and I come in like oh my nice. free car I jump in start it it's not gonna let me take off because the system is not reading the key inside it so as soon as they put the key in, it's gonna detect, okay, the owner is in. And you see, there it is. Same thing if you start it from your phone because you don't have to be close. Like you have to be with a key fob. You can start it from Japan if you want. And as long as you have phone coverage and the car is here in town or in the United States, you're gonna be able to do it. You can actually control all that. And it also does not unlock um, when you start it. It actually stays locked. So there should be no way unless you leave the windows down or something usb very important ac vents especially in the summer here in the valley full sunroof glass roof look at this 37 miles to the gallon power trunk the best thing about the hybrids is that they have a uh, all-wheel drive system so basically you have the snow mode the center differential as well you have the traction on all four wheels all the time better cornering control as well so all those systems are also implemented with it so even better if you want to go to the mountains especially now actually winter time you guys can go skiing or or i don't know go make a snowman over in julian we have here the cargo net so this basically goes across here it's just a regular net that you'll be putting your your belongings in like groceries or stuff if you don't want it moving all around the trunk um, this is called the cargo tray but it's basically a two-sided mat has the rubber mat and has the actual regular cloth um, you know, but in the back and it's this just so you see i'm not lying reversible cargo tray <laughs> This way. And then these are just regular floor mats, but they're here. Um, surprisingly, some cars don't have it anymore. It has a first aid kit. This is the front plate holder. You'll need it for California. The wheel locks. This is the key for it. These are the regular lug nuts. And then this is the first aid kit with instructions. Mobility kit for the inflator. And um, has instructions and all those goodies for CPR and handling wound poisoning uh, burns whole thing i wanted to make a quick video but it's four minutes sorry if i've been talking too much i just i, I don't know i just love these vehicles it's it's so so great how how new the new technology's got like this particular one for example smart cruise control has a camera up here that's telling the car hey you're getting too close to that car you're you're at a one to four car distance or they have the lane assist which if you start touching the lanes it actually brings you back in once you're touched it another one they added there's the lane assist you have to be doing over 40 miles an hour so it has to have momentum they added this right here lane following assist so what it is is instead of you ping-ponging between the two lanes and bouncing around they implemented this feature where it'll detect that the vehicle is right in the center and keep the car centered. So if it detects you're a little bit off to the left or to the right, 
you're gonna see the wheel like moving itself to correct. I can tell you all about it, but once we actually get a feel for it and drive it, and I can show you the extra features, some of the hidden features um, for the vehicle. I'm gonna pop the hood as well. I know you guys are not here, but I'm doing a quick, quick walk around. Sorry, it's a little bit dusty. We do open the hoods, so it looks nice out there. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have it washed. You get a full tank of gas um, as well, detailed and everything. And no, I'm not gonna charge extra for that. That's the Amazon gray color. It's a little bit dusty as you can tell, which is why it looks different. But look at that, look at that shine. It looks kind of greenish. I love how you can't tell that it's dirty or dusty like the black one. Like, look at that. Look at this. And if I do something, it's already... <laughs> but here at least, like, it blends in all the dust. Anyways, um, this is the other color. Um, I know you said it's not an option, but just wanted to show you how it looks. I don't know if you saw it in person yet. Um, it looks a little bit darker in person than what it looks like in the video. But um, pretty close, pretty close. This is a regular limited 28 MPGs. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. Sorry I made it too long. Hopefully um, you like the information I sent you. If you want to see anything different, please let me know as well. Oh, I'll, I'll show you it. Oh, okay. That beep you're hearing is because it's telling us hey i'm on although i'm an electric i'm still running and you, you left me open with the key in your pocket so um it lets you know that it's still running for some of the distracted people and I, one thing i also love about the blue link is that if for example oh turn it off <laughs> that's so quiet <laughs> if if for example if i i right now i I park it and I go to work and I'm doing my thing and I left it running, the Blue Link app will actually notify you on the alerts and will let you know that, actually I moved it. Will let you know that the vehicle has been running for a certain amount of time. Usually it's predetermined for 30 minutes. So you'll get an alert. Um, your Tucson has been uh, on as of November 20th, um, 8.59 p.m. And it's been running for 30 minutes now and then you're like oh yeah i know i i'm idling right here um but if you're like oh damn i sorry i i forgot about the the car running i'm gonna park it right here. <laughs> um then yeah it, it's a little bit a little bit nice to have that extra feature Alrighty, i'm gonna shut up already thank you so much for watching the video um if you want to see anything different in particular please let me know i'll happily show you it um, but yeah, thank you so much. Have an awesome night.